Hey, thank you so much for being here today. I'm Sean Boyd, Public Information Officer with Cal OES, Governor's Office of Emergency Services. We're streaming this live on multiple channels, Cal OES, CalFit, as well as Metro Fires, different social media uh, streaming services. So welcome. We appreciate anybody who's tuning in right now and watching, and we appreciate the media for being here as well. Uh, we are here because we are about to today launch officially a very important public service announcement campaign, and it is called Deadly Silence, Are You Listening? And the reason for that will be explained shortly. Uh, right now, we have a number of folks who are assembled behind us, all of whom are either first responders in one way or another, uh, involved in pool safety, uh, or are the subject of our public service announcement. So I'm going to introduce Captain Chris Vestal, who is with uh, Sacramento Metro Fire, and he will uh, take it from there. Chris. Thank you, Sean, and good morning. The real emphasis of why we're here is to prevent the childhood drowning in pools of children under the age of five. But that shouldn't diminish the fact that children older and even adults also have the same problem and that there's also an issue not just in pools but other bodies of water too. One of the big points of a weekend coming up like this, at least in the Sacramento region, where we have triple digit temperatures, where we expect everybody to be out at their pool, is just the general safety. If you're going to be out in the sun and being exposed to the high temperatures, make sure you hydrate with non-alcoholic beverages, protect yourself from the sun, sunscreens, shade, and overall, have somebody watching your children especially. Now, I brought my daughter out here today who's a very avid swimmer, at least in her own right, and uh, she's always wanting to get in. But one of the things we're trying to teach her is make sure a parent is there. If you see one of your friends and they're in the pool and they're not making noise, let an adult know. There's a lot of different things that children do around pools and that we as families do that could distract us. So bring it right back in, watch your children, make sure your children are wearing the PFDs or personal flotation devices or life jackets as they're sometimes commonly called, and just have a good time in the sun. This is too nice of a weekend. This is too nice of a summer season. We all love the weather in California, and we all want you to enjoy it up and down the state of California. I'll hand off to Chief Larry Collins now from the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Good morning. My name is Larry Collins with uh, Cal OES, the Deputy Fire Chief for Special Operations. and. Uh, what I'd like to remind everybody, uh, uh, in addition to the swimming pool safety issue and the need to really watch your children when they're in the pool or around uh, the water, is uh, to reiterate some of the uh, specific dangers that we're encountering in this state with the uh, record snow melt and the, uh, the record um, flows that we're getting in the rivers and streams um, of California. The water's moving fast, it's high, and it's cold. And we've had a number of drownings in the state, somewhere in the range of at least 15 that uh, I'm aware of thus far in the rivers and streams of California, um, including uh, one just recently where uh, a child went in, a three-year-old went in, and the father went missing after trying to rescue his child. And that's uh, uh, all, all too familiar a scenario for a summertime like this where we have hot temperatures and everybody wants to get in the water but the rivers and streams are flowing fast. So uh, our advice is to stay, stay away from the fast moving water, keep your children away from areas where they can fall in. And uh, back to the swimming pool scenario, just keep watching your kids and don't get distracted and get led into the scenarios where we have these uh, silent drownings. Thank you very much. Okay, so real quickly here, I want to introduce uh, Becky, who is with uh, California Family Fitness. She's also, uh, well, I'm going to let you explain exactly what your role is here. Thank you. Okay. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the Aquatics Director from California Family Fitness, and I would like to take a few minutes to um, discuss uh, pool um, and swim lesson safety. Um, good morning. California Family Fitness is a 
proud to be teaming up with the Governor's Office of Emergency Services as well as the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire to raise awareness on this important issue of pool safety. We commend the two organizations for this water safety awareness program and remind adults who are supervising children to remain vigilant and without distractions when watching children near water. With the official start of summer right around the corner, a time when families start to spend more time around the water, this is a perfect time to talk about swim safety and swim lessons. Studies show that children enro enrolled in swim lessons reduce the risk of drowning by 88%. It is the number two cause of death in children under five. California Family Fitness offers swim lessons for adults and children that are taught by lifeguard certified water safety instructors and aquatic safety instructors. Um, in private group settings, um, private or group settings, adult children, um, we offer lessons on the weekends. We have many programs um, available to help everyone learn to swim. Um, I'd also like to strongly recommend investing in a U.S. Coast Guard certified um, life jacket. Um, they are the only ones that are actual flotation devices. In fact, everything from water wings to rafts to inner tubes say this is not a flotation device. Um, so you want to make sure the uh, life jacket fits it properly, doesn't slip off, and it keeps the child's head above water. Um, these are also there to assist you and not to um, kind of relieve responsibility of the child in the water. Um, as said before, parents must re remain vigilant in watching their children. Um, so if you're providing adult supervision, you need to make sure you're not um, on your phone reading a book. You need to really eliminate all distractions. Um, also creating um, basic rules um, around the pool. Um, and any body of water can help um, establish what the children are supposed to do when they're out there with you. Never swim alone, always wear a life vest, don't swim out to where your, uh, the parent or the adult can't see you. Um, I would also again like to thank the Governor's Office of Emergency Services and Metropolitan Fire Department for launching this cam campaign to keep parents and children safe. Thank you. Okay, so we don't want to take too much more of your time, but we do have an important guest that we want to introduce you to, and she, as well as her uh, grandson, are the subjects of this PSA, which we'll show you here momentarily. But uh, finally, uh, we have Pam Bryant, who is, like I said, the subject of the public service announcement. She has a couple of words she wants to say, and then we will uh, wrap it up, and there'll be availabilities for one-on-ones. So, Pam Bryant. Hello. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I am the grandmother of this young man here, Joshua Briggs. And when he was 16 months old, I had a, I had a situation. He actually drowned in my pool. And it was not from neglect. I thought I had my eye on him. But it takes one second. I answered the phone, turned my back. And what did you do, Josh? I crawled through the doggy door into the pool. He crawled with my dog through the doggy door, and that's when I found him. It took one minute of me turning my back and losing track of where he was. And so I tell people, keep your eye on your children. Make sure all your doors are locked. If you have a pool fence, that helps. We didn't at the time. and we did put one in. And so five days in intensive care, we are now here to tell this story. It's a success story, unlike some people, unfortunately. And look at him now. Joshua Briggs is here to tell his story, but please know where your children are at all times. Thank you. So today, nowadays, the things I see are big distractions or phones. Like those can be causes of a lot of like mishappenings and like making yourself go off track and stuff and not being aware of your surroundings. And another big thing that my Grammy said is a pool fence with a lock, a secure lock on it. That would be good to have around your pool. Thank you. There's a couple points we want to make sure that really hits home. We have over 50 children below the age of five who drown every year in swimming pools at a home in California. And that's roughly two kindergarten classrooms full of kids. Um, that kind of puts it into context. Uh, 
most of us who have children about that age, that would be half the kindergartners at one of our schools. Um, and we just don't want that. I mean, one is too many, um, regardless of where it is, if it's concentrated in an area or across the whole state, um, especially when it's preventable. And for children that age, it absolutely is preventable for watching them. Um, so that's a point I would like to reiterate um, from Pam. Um, the second thing is CPR. Um, we encourage everybody to learn CPR. And if you do have the unfortunate circumstance where you have to rescue a family member or anybody out of the water, you know, do CPR. And what we brought with us today is our sidewalk CPR program for Metro Fire. And we've actually had several instances where people have been saved from people who went through one of our sidewalk CPR training programs, which literally takes two to three minutes to learn. Um, it's a compression only based system and you don't even have to be certified, but you have to know what to do. So that's something that we'll be showing you right after this, as well as showing you the public service announcement videos that we've made, and those will be available in both English and Spanish for uh, delivery across the state. Thank you, Chris, and thank you to everybody here who has uh, shown support here for this cause. It's really important, obviously. Special thanks to CalFit for allowing us to come in and invade their pool area and for this uh, important message. So here in just a minute, we're gonna show you uh, some examples of the versions that Chris mentioned. We're gonna have both the English and Spanish versions, which are both downloadable from the Cal OES website, which is oesnews.com slash are you listening? Because it is deadly and you can't hear it most of the time. All right, so thank you everybody. Thanks to everybody back here for uh, coming out today. We're gonna show you briefly each one is 30 seconds long, both English and Spanish, and then we'll make uh, some folks available for one-on-ones. Thanks again. 